Tonight, the GBI is investigating after a Bibb County deputy shot a man this afternoon near the Mercer University campus. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Frank Malloy. And I'm Lori Johnson. The Sheriff's Office says Anthony Baldwin Jr. was wanted in connection to a homicide last year and may have been driving a stolen car. Anthony Montalto joins us in studio with more. And Anthony, you actually talked with people who saw the shooting happen. Yeah, I did. There were dozens of people watching investigators work when I got there, many of them outraged. Nathaniel Foster says he ran outside when he heard deputies coming down the street. I heard the sirens. I come out the door, he ended up. He was coming up real slow. Nathaniel Foster never thought a visit to his mom Wednesday afternoon would bring him to the scene of a shooting. Foster says he saw it all happen. I said, freeze, freeze, freeze. From when Baldwin stopped his Chevy Yukon. He was barely moving. Barely moving. To when a deputy shot him. Police officer said, freeze, freeze. Pow, pow, pow. They, they shot him. They shot him. The shooting happened around 6, according to the sheriff's office. But Sheriff David Davis says the interaction started much earlier, around 4.30. Vehicle was uh, was spotted over off of Houston Avenue. A couple of uh, plainclothes deputies as well as a, a, a patrol uh, deputy uh, followed the vehicle. Davis says Baldwin took, quote, evasive moves until deputies followed him down Felton Avenue. He says they never used sirens or lights. After the shooting, Davis says the deputies immediately rushed to help. He was uh, taken to uh, Atrium Navicent and is uh, undergoing treatment at this time. The sheriff's office called Baldwin's injuries non-life-threatening. The focus now, finding out whether deputies knew if Baldwin's five-year-old daughter was in the car. We're not clear uh, if the deputies knew that there was a child in the vehicle or not. Meanwhile, as law enforcement worries about the youngest on scene, Foster worries for his mother just up the street. Shooting like this is very scary, especially when it's close to your family. Now, Sheriff Davis would not say where Baldwin was shot, only that his injuries were non-life threatening. Nobody else was hurt in the shooting. Back to you. Thank you, Anthony. The GBI taking over the case as the sheriff's office conducts its own internal affairs investigation. And that is all standard procedure. Now, taking a closer look, the GBI has investigated three shootings by officers in central Georgia this year. One in Lawrence County, one in Houston County, and one in Crisp County. In all three, the victim was shot but not killed. The victims were all in their 30s. The Lawrence and Houston shootings happened in January. The Crisp County shooting happened in March. In total, the GBI is looking into 40 shootings across the state.